Radiation is a term we use for electromagnetic radiation, which is all energy that radiates as a wave. So that's heat, light, UV, infrared, x-rays, microwaves. But in this chapter, we're going to be using this term differently for nuclear radiation. So nuclear radiation is radiation that is emitted by a nucleus of an unstable atom. So electromagnetic radiation is all around us and most of it is not harmful. Um, remember the microwaves and the visible light includes the gamma rays and x-rays, the higher energy radiation. And so nuclear radiation is natural and um, some cannot be avoided. For Nobel Prizes, these two women, this is the first in history that two women shared the Nobel Prize in chemistry for discovering uh, the process called CRISPR, which is gene editing. Marie Curie, who is the only woman in history still so far to have won two Nobel Prizes, one for chemistry and one for physics, and had a daughter who also went into chemistry and won a Nobel Prize, so a mother-daughter combination of Nobelists. Marie Curie first coined the term radioactivity, and this is radiation emitted by certain unstable atoms. Marie Curie studied uh, radioactive isotopes, and um, for her work, not only did she win the Nobel Prizes, but she has a named after her, that's element 96, curium, CM. So recall isotopes that we talked about in climate change data. Isotopes are used to establish that carbon in the atmosphere is not new and also used to establish temperatures. We use isotopes of hydrogen to establish temperatures from thousands or uh, hundreds of thousands of years ago. So we used isotope notation um, an isotope notation indicates the mass number, that's the most important for an isotope, because the isotopes have different numbers of neutrons, and so the mass number tells us uh, from the uh, number given either as in this format, or uh, with the element symbol, or with the element name would be the isotope notation. So this mass number is the mass in the atom, which is going to be due to the protons and neutrons. And if you have a periodic table, you can always look up the number of protons, that's the atomic number, subtract that in order to determine the number of neutrons. So nu nuclear fission reactions that occur in a nuclear electric power plant start with this neutron bombardment. So this is the isotope notation for a neutron. So this has the symbol N, and the top value is the mass number for a neutron, and the neutron has a mass of 1. This bottom number in the isotope notation is the atomic number. For a neutron, it's 0 because the atomic number is the number of protons, and neutrons do not have any protons in them. So this is the... Um, this is the isotope notation for the enriched uranium, uranium mass number 235, and uranium has the atomic number 92 protons. So when this bombardment happens, the uh, there's temporarily, this is why there's the brackets, there temporarily the neutron attaches to that uranium-235 and forms a larger atom that is even more unstable than the original uranium-235. So this larger unstable atom then on its own breaks apart into smaller different atoms. So you end up with barium-141 and krypton-92. Now remember these are the mass numbers and you can look up uh, the on the periodic table the atomic numbers to fill in the 56 which is the atomic number for barium and the 36 which is the atomic number for krypton. You also have as a product three more of those neutrons and this again is the isotope notation for a neutron. So what we're looking at here is a balanced nuclear equation where this is um, showing superscripts. The superscripts are the mass numbers and you should notice that the superscripts are equal. This allows for the mass to be equal on both sides, at least on the order of the ones place. So this would be 236 on this side, 236 on this side, and these 141 plus 92 plus 3 times 1 add up to 236. So there's no loss of mass, at least with the ones place. And then the subscripts are the atomic number, and those are also equal on both sides of the arrow. So 92, 92, 
52. And if you add up 56 plus 36 plus 3 times 0, there's no mass, uh, there's no atomic number for the neutron, so that's why that's 0. That's going to be 92. Unstable atoms naturally uh, exist in nature and they emit radioactivity. And these are uh, around everywhere around, and we'll get to later um, radi natural radiation. But what is emitted from the nucleus of an unstable atom are these types of radioactivity. So this is an alpha. This is an alpha particle is this isotope notation, which is a helium nucleus. So it's helium that has the atomic number two and the mass of four because there are two protons and two neutrons in the nucleus. So this is a beta particle. A beta particle is a high energy electron indicated by this isotope notation. And this has a zero mass. Remember, electrons don't have any mass. And a negative one for the atomic number. Because remember, the atomic number, this lower value, is equal to the number of protons. Since an electron doesn't have any protons in it, just like neutrons don't have any protons, electrons are actually the opposite of protons, having a negative one charge, is how this is indicated in the isotope notation. Okay, so the neutron uses a zero, but the electron uses a negative one as the subscript for the number of uh, protons. This is a gamma ray, so this is, these are all Greek symbols, by the way, alpha, beta, and gamma. So this is a gamma ray. This is the gamma ray from the electromagnetic spectrum, the high and the high energy end. And the gamma ray is a high energy photon. Remember, a photon is a, a packet of light when you think about light as um, individual particles. And so this is a the isotope notation shows us that there's no mass and there's no proton in the gamma ray. The gamma ray is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's the highest energy and it is something that is of these radioactive particles, this is the most dangerous because it can travel pretty far. So alpha and beta, these actually can be, um, they don't, this doesn't travel very far at all, a couple feet, and the beta also cannot necessarily penetrate through certain materials. But gamma rays, this is the type of nuclear radiation when we're talking about radioactivity that's dangerous, it's gamma rays that you protect yourselves from.